joining. Here we go. Test two, practice exam continued. Moving on to give the electron gas, noble gas short form. So what symbol is antimony? Don't start this question until you found out what antimony symbol is. Don't look on the periodic table. It will be of no help to you right now. My periodic table, though, yes, has all of them except the first 20 written for you. So nobody did this over the weekend. Okay, you did it over the weekend. I'm just, that was just an interesting discovery. SB is the symbol. And so we're going to start with a noble gas that's previous to that. So she found KR is the one previous to SB. Don't go with Z, XE. XE is the next one. And you would have too many electrons already, wouldn't you? Previous noble gas to SB is KR. So what you do is you write down, oh, don't put it in green though. Square bracket, KR. You are now at the end of the fourth row. As soon as you wrote that, you've accounted for every electron to get up to KR. End of fourth row. Moving on to the fifth row, 5s2, 4d10, 5p3. Okay. And everything with a five in front gets circled. I think green works for circling. Those are the valence electrons, right? Everything with a five in front. Four is buried underneath. Sure, separate circles works. Everybody's got their own circling. Mine started way back when I was a kid. I love to put big circles around everything. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, niobium. What symbol is niobium? NB. All right. Where is niobium on the old periodic table? 41, right? So what noble gas is previous to that? That's well, kind of like before, isn't it? Yeah, you're copying what you did before, except you're stopping in the four. How do you know you're stopping in the 4D area? It's in the middle of the 4, 4D area, yeah. How many? Done. Yes. Done. You are. I'm liking it. I'm hearing some really nice things, really promising. And uh, I'm stopping my share. Don't. <laughs> 